What's going on YouTube? Asian Eyes White Dragon here. So uh, we just outplayed him in the rock, paper, and scissors. So uh, we're going to be going first. Uh, I'm going to be running X Sabers and drawing no X Sabers. But it's okay. We won't let him summon either. Let's see, okay. Saber hole is Battle Fader if he runs uh, <laughs> Battle Fader. And uh, I mean, I don't, I don't want to clog. But at the same time, like, I actually want all these cards. Um, yeah, I'll do that. He probably thinks I'm playing Glads now, but that's okay. I mean, I... Oh, he's asking if I'm playing Chainburn. Unfortunately, I'm not. Um, just going to wait for him to... Uh... If he summons something I don't want, I can just get rid of it. Or I can, you know, I can let him attack if it's something not big. He, he's got a pretty good hand too, but uh, I think Solemn Judgment, look at his hand, he says no. He disagrees. I know, if he opens up with uh, Cold Wave and get that rescue cat out, they'd be pretty good, but... Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's still thinking. But it doesn't matter. Whatever he just does, I'm pretty sure I can negate it. Oh, he's discarding his special summon swap frog. Oh, no. I'm not going to warning that. That'd be absolutely pointless because he's already got the card in the graveyard. But uh, it looks like he's going to be playing Monarchs, Frogs. So uh, very good that I set that Saber Hole. And he's going to return Swap Frog to his hand. I mean, if he tries to trip me from Monarch, obviously we can't let him do that. If he loses it in defense, that's fine with me. I don't know what his uh, options are. Oh, one for one. Discarding Plague Spreader. Gonna be special summoning Global, maybe? No, I want him to uh, normal summon. I mean, yeah, I could uh, get rid of, you know, the one for one effect. Uh, but the reason why I'm letting it go through is because I want him to normal summon something and then I Solemn. Judge, uh, Solemn Warning. There we go. And then he's going to exhaust all his cards in his hand. He's going to be sad. Okay, I wasn't sure what he's doing. He just like discards Fishboard Blaster. Which would be totally fair. Uh, Alright, he could normal summon it. And then go for formula. Okay. What? What? Oh, okay, so he's stacking one for Plague Spreader. Okay. Oh no, he's gonna attack with Swap Frog. Oh, what? What is he gonna synchro for? Well, whatever it is, we're probably gonna warning it. Oh, well, we can't allow that. I don't know why anyone would go for Librarian play with uh, five cards face down. <laughs> Success, it's Dark Soul. <laughs> uh, which I need to actually go to the graveyard. I should summon Dark Soul and attack once so I can use my Saber Hole. Whoops. I'm gonna attack him for a hundred. <laughs> yes! The reason why I'm summoning it instead of setting it is because, yeah, I mean, he's running Monarchs anyways, and uh, I'm pretty much not going to get this to go to the graveyard. Um, anyways, so, because I'm going to either save a hole or I'm going to uh, have to uh, use other cards. Oh no, discarding one for Fishborg. Wait, does he have another Fishborg in the grave? Okay, he doesn't have another Fishborg in the grave. Uh, which is cool with me, because uh, 
Oh, and be yeah, a plugs were just removed because it was uh, top deck. So in his hand right now, he's got Fishboard Blaster. Okay, he's gonna sink her for formula, which we're just going to uh, saber hole, or or not. I mean, he can he can attack me. <laughs> Remove like cloudy and smoke ball. Oh, what is this? So uh. Can't be destroyed by battle. Pretty good. I, I might have to mirror force so I can save my. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm just gonna let my Dark Soul die, <laughs> and I'll just keep on pounding that Storm Dragon away. Um, I mean, yeah, it can't be destroyed by battle, but he can't really stall with it either. Uh, what is he going for? Five? Librarian? Okay. I don't want him to leave Librarian on the field, that's why. Um, finally, I get. <laughs> Success. Duality into. Oh, finally, Arabellum. That's a pretty good card. So we're going to special it. I mean, yeah, I can't get the damage in, but that's okay. Because he's a tuner, I can go for a six right now. But since I activated duality, I won't be able to be doing it this turn. But if we could smack him for a, uh, you know, deal some damage. Getting a hundred damage in right now. Good stuff. So we're we're gonna beat him down. With Dark Soul. Oh, yeah, another 100 damage. Take that. <laughs> and then we're going to set this because uh, next turn we actually can do something. I don't know why I'm drawing into like so many spells and traps. So, oh, just going to discard one for Fishborg. Oh, is he going to sink her for formula? Oh, he is. And then we're going to uh, saber hole that, and he has no cards in hand, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but uh, I definitely want to. <laughs> and that's all in judgment too. So, oh, seven tools. That card is pretty good against uh, you know, his deck. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and synchro. Um, because I want Dark Souls effect, he has no cards in hand anyways, and if I really want to, I got that call. So we're going to Synchro for Brynak. So he can't really stall me out. And, uh, let's see. I, I guess I could call and get more damage in. I don't feel it's necessary, though. Um, so I'm just going to smack him for 23. And uh, so end phase. So end phase, we get our Dark Souls awesome effect, and then uh, we can go for a, a fall troll, and we're gonna make a game. Pretty much, when uh, anyone searches with uh, Dark Souls, they search a fall troll. You pretty much know that they have game, because whatever he does next turn, it's just gonna get solemned, and then we're gonna call the haunted, and we're gonna do lots of shenanigans. Basically, I have to draw in another X saber in order for like my combo to work at all, anyways. But um, I was gonna synchro four. Or, or he's formula, which is fine. He can draw one more card. I'm not afraid of that. No reason to solve that. Okay. I would have summoned it face up, but uh. Definitely uh, going to, because this card's absolutely dead in my hand. So uh, we're going to actually browse effect. 
So we'll send seven tools to the graveyard because that card's completely useless, and we'll bounce back the one card he has. I think this guy's just misplaying. I think he knows the rulings. Anyways, we're going to uh, activate our Call of the Haunted because we don't have another Xebra on the field. So uh, we'll get rid of that card he has in his hand. I mean, maybe he maybe he was so good that he knew I was gonna hit that Cloudy in the graveyard. Anyways, okay, Cloudy and Smoke Ball. Taking that 1600. I probably didn't need to set that 7 tools. But uh, just in case he was going to use Mobius, I just didn't want him to get anything. No! <laughs> oh, I'm sad now. That, that's his whole plan. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite worth it in my opinion, but uh, sure. He, he already has two, um... Uh, uh, tree one frogs in the graveyard. Well, one's on the field right now. Otherwise, I'd send him back to his hand, and that would cause him problems. Because uh, if you compulse someone tree one frog, if they don't have swap frog, it really does hurt them. Because, uh... Yeah. But uh, I won't be able to activate my full home knight's effect, sadly. Because uh, obviously, do all. Oh, this guy's asking me what I think I'll value Paul Duality at after the reprint. I'm gonna say 40. Um, at the moment, it's about 50. Because Pot of Duality is used in every deck. I mean, look at like Ultimate Pot of Avarice. But, uh, anyways, uh, let's see what he does. <laughs> oh, so he's gonna go for another Formula Synchron, which we're just gonna solve him because he has no cards. And, uh, it's okay. <laughs> because, uh, I don't need any cards, anyways. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Generally, like, he has a better matchup because of the Monarchs, but he didn't get to draw any of them. Thanks for watching, guys. Asian Ash White Dragon, signing out.